While the Grand Theft Auto series may be one of the most popular things going in gaming these days, most people don't really know too much about the roots of the series. Yes, the 3 in Grand Theft Auto 3 does in fact mean there were two games out before it. Those two games were top-down 2D games that had the same basic structure as the newer games in the series. The vintage 2D style game with some of the added conventions of GTA 3 combines together in the form of GTA Advance for the GBA. GTA Advance takes place in Liberty City and puts you in the role of a guy named Mike. Mike's sole mission in life is to make the people responsible for car bombing his friend pay dearly. Along the way, you'll go on plenty of pretty standard missions, including taking out specific enemies, blowing up a building, checkpoint racing, picking up and dropping off hookers, and so on. The story is conveyed via your mission briefings, which cut away from the top-down view and give you two large, static character heads to look at while reading the game's boring dialogue. The look and feel of GTA Advance take things back to the original Grand Theft Auto, though there have been some changes. Some of the side missions introduced in GTA 3 are here, so you'll be able to hop in a cop car and go on vigilante missions, drive a taxi, play paramedic for a day, and so on. Other changes to the old GTA is that cars can now flip over, which usually happens if you T-bone them really, really hard, but generally speaking, the vehicle physics that govern how they react in a collision just feel strange. There's no real sense of speed when driving either, which is one of the features that made GTA 1 and 2 so fun. Here, the game just sort of sputters along and you never really get the feeling that you're driving through the streets of Liberty City at breakneck speeds. Furthermore, the game's camera zooms out when you start moving faster, but it doesn't pull back far enough to give you a clear view of the road, making dodging traffic and making turns a real chore. Graphically, GTA Advance does a good job of looking like the old GTA games, and the static images you'll see during mission briefings look pretty good too. But on the street, the game's stuttery pace really gets in the way of the action. All in all, bringing the classic GTA gameplay back is a neat idea, but the execution here is weighted down by the lame story, straight-laced dialogue, and the occasional technical issue. If you're curious to see what the roots of GTA really were, you should probably just go to Rockstar's website, where the first game is available in its entirety as a free download.